The state of college athletics is in the spotlight, and for almost two years now, athletes have been able to profit off of their name, image, and likenesses, called NIL for short. After a U.S. Supreme Court ruling last year, college athletes are now allowed to earn money for things like autographs, social media posts, and endorsements. That verdict, because it was 9 nothing, made it clear that the NCAA was subject to the antitrust laws just like any other enterprise. The NCAA, universities, third parties have been using the athlete's name, image, and likeness for decades. The NCAA has surpassed over $1 billion in annual revenue. And now these athletes are able to also monetize their name, image, and likeness and be an entrepreneur and to build a business just like their non-athlete colleagues were able to do for decades as well. Cincinnati Bengals running back Travion Williams has made a name for himself and his versatility. Soon he'll be expanding his skills beyond the field to learn a new position he hasn't played before. Williams was served as an adjunct professor at a and Law School to help co-teach a class on name, image, and likeness, teaming up with current sports attorney and business consultant Alex Sinatra. From the football field to the um, law school, it's crazy how things transpire. Throughout your whole life, you take classes and um, you're on the opposite side of it, you're on the learning side of it, but now just being able to adequately pass on information to my students, um, it's an amazing feeling. We are right now in real time trying to figure out what should NIL look like as a matter of federal law, as a matter of state law. So that makes it a great subject to be studying. Like as you're going through the class, things are changing in real time. Uh, you'd be surprised how interested people are in, in this NIL space and everything that we're doing. Name, image, and likeness is essentially the right to publicity, and it's something that everyone has. For the most part, before Alston and before the NIL rules were passed, college athletes couldn't use their name or their image or their likeness for commercial purposes. The Alston case uh, was a class action on behalf of FBS football players and Division I basketball players, and it was challenging the restrictions the NCAA places on providing any benefits to the athletes beyond the scholarship. And we prevailed in our claims that that was an antitrust violation before the United States Supreme Court 9 to 0. The next thing that fell were their rules uh, against uh, athletes selling their names, images, and likenesses to sponsors. That has led to an explosion of a market for those athletes that has extended not only to the football team and the basketball team, but to the gymnasts and the volleyball players and everybody else throughout the sports system. Since its acquisition in 2013, the Texas A&M School of Law has risen through the U.S. News and World Report rankings higher and faster than any other law school in history. The law community took notice of this meteoric rise, and the buzz that followed set the stage for what came next. There's a blog that very famously covers legal education and legal practice called Above the Law. They every year do a story about the rankings when they come out. And when they talked about Texas A&M University School of Law, the remark they made was, given the way in which A&M was rushing up the rankings, you would think that Travion Williams was doing the rushing. So I retweeted the story and I said, Texas A&M University School of Law is proud to announce their newest faculty recruit at Travion W. I was scrolling through on Twitter. I uh, commented on the tweet. I said, am I missing something with a question mark? And it kind of, you know, blew up a little bit. So then I said to the dean, if I can get him to co-teach with me, is that something that you would be amenable to? And he said, oh yeah, okay, Alex, if you can get this person you've never met that you reach out to on Twitter DMs to co-teach a class with you, sure we'll make it work. Game time in Aggie Land. We've been waiting on this. It's time to do work. Before being drafted by the Cincinnati Bengals in 2019, Travion Williams was a record-breaking running back for the Texas A&M football program. Travion Williams, touchdown Aggies! In his final season, Travion led the Southeastern Conference in rushing and was named to the All-SEC first team. 
and Alex reached out and um, asked me about, you know, what, how would you feel about the opportunity of co-teaching an NIL class? And um, I absolutely jumped on it, took that opportunity and ran with it. And um, a couple of days later, we were on Zoom with the dean and, and we got the ball rolling and next thing you know, we're here. And I'm enjoying each and every step of the way. Then when we announced it, it went viral. It was honestly wild. And they said, nothing's ever been done like this before. A current professional athlete teaching at a law school with a sports attorney, and it's going to be an educational, experiential class where the students get hands-on help and work. It made for a great story, but I think it also was the subject. Everyone recognized that this was a subject in which all of us need to figure out and all of us need to learn about. A&M is a natural hub for that. Frankly, Texas is a natural hub for that, given the number of universities, the number of professional athletic teams in the state. Professor Williams and I have different skill sets, right? And it is so important that these athletes get information directly from both sources, from the advocate, me, and from the athlete, Travion. Being able to be um, on the initial side of it and not be able to experience the NIL portion of it during college, I feel like I'm able to look at it from two different spectrums. Understanding college athletes and not being able to be a part of it, but however, there's the exact same process of being a professional athlete, obviously capitalizing off your name, image, and likeness, and, and I, I truly understand that. And I feel like that's why I bring an um, important and a unique um, perspective to the class. And so by virtue of the fact that he has this very unique experience and background, that is what makes it so important for our, our students to be able to learn directly from the source. It's not every day that you get to go to a law school class and learn from an NFL player. It is invaluable to be able to actually talk to an athlete who's actually going through NIL deals in his professional career, talk about how that would have affected his college career. Professor Sinatra, because she is a, a practitioner and like is passionate about what's going on and is keeping up to date, it was really helpful to get her insights just because she's someone who's a part of the, you know, the NIL world. Having a school that allows us to bring in people like that and meet them and pick their brains, I think is, is so you know, valuable as a student. These sorts of sports law related classes or experiential learning will have guest speakers, but I don't know of any other undergraduate, graduate, or law school program that has a current professional athlete teaching alongside being an equal partner. I always tell Professor Williams, you playing football is the least interesting thing about you. And he always laughs because he's a father, he owns three businesses, he runs a foundation where he helps underprivileged children. He does everything under the sun. And he also happens to play professional football. Just honestly being able to be outside of my realm and not just be an athlete, but be more than that. I feel like I'm, I'm living out the Aggie Network and I'm truly living out the exact same things that Texas A&M pitched to me when I was coming here as a recruit. Texas a and is a stepping stone to the things that you want to achieve in life. We can't guarantee you anything, but we can guarantee you an opportunity of being a part of an amazing network that, you know, whenever life is done with football or life is done whatever you're doing, you got an amazing network of people that can really help you um, get to where you want to go. And I'm living that out right now. I really hope that this becomes an opportunity for us to think about what are the offerings that we are uh, putting on the table for our students. When you think about kind of the content of this class and the bringing together of the relevant parties to make it as great a class as it is, that's been one of the most special things maybe that I've ever been part of. This is putting the law school and the university on the map as a source of insight and knowledge for athletes and for institutions alike. If I had known early on that every time I sent a tweet, it would result in an NFL player becoming the uh, faculty member at our law school, I would have tweeted a lot more often. <laughs>